What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Cougar Armor Gaming Chair. Funny story on how I actually ended up getting this chair for review. I actually have a subscriber, a longtime subscriber from the 2010 days actually hit me up and asked me if I wanted to review uh, some Cougar products and I saw this chair and I said, hey, never had a gaming chair before, wanted to try one out. And I've got to say, early impressions are very good. Alright, so let's talk about some of the specifics of this chair. This chair has a 265 pound weight limit and has a full steel frame. The weight limit is something that a lot of people don't factor in when they're buying a chair. A lot of times when you look at, and, into buying office chairs, you go to Office Max or whatever, if they don't have a weight limit posted, it's a terrible chair. You need to really consider a weight limit in general when you're buying a chair and if it's not advertised, that chair will crap out on you. And um, also just pro tip when you're getting into your chair don't be like a hard plopper like it's re it's really easy to be lazy and just go boom and just like slam your ass into the chair really hard every time you go to sit down um, but when you do that you gotta factor that into the the weight as well because you know I weigh 215 but if I lazily just jump in my chair ass first you know I'm probably putting 300 plus pounds of uh, pressure on it so 265 pound weight limit full steel frame uh, the leather is PVC leather, I believe, which is pretty standard for office chairs. I have had full leather office chairs, and they are overrated in my opinion. Um, they wear out as well. They just do. Um, yes, it's, it's a little nicer, I guess, but for the price you pay for it, in my opinion, it's not worth it. PVC leather, if you take care of it, is pretty damn good, and I'll get into taking care of it here in a minute. Um, but... Yeah, chair, overall the quality, it feels very solid. Um, the lifts feel good, the reclining feels good, the armrests are solid. From a build quality perspective, it seems pretty good. Looking at the reviews on Amazon, there are some people that are above 265 pounds. I think one review I read of a guy that's like 315, he said he's had the chair for a long time and had no issues. It feels solid. From a build quality perspective, it is solid. The leather feels good. The logos being embroidered feels good. Uh, well, that doesn't feel good, but it looks good. Uh, I like the black and orange. I'm biased. Black and orange, my two favorite colors. Um, but yeah, everything feels pretty solid about this chair. Uh, the reclining feature. This is a feature that uh, I probably won't get much use out of. It is cool. It's neat. But I don't personally think I'll be using it too much. Uh, but there's a little lever you can pull here and go all the way back and actually lock it into place. And this is probably where the 265 pound weight limit is implemented, like why they have that listed here, because doing this obviously puts some crazy stresses on the chair. So if you're sitting upright, you could probably get away with weighing considerably more than 265. But if you're going to do some lean back action, I'd be under 265, because this is the only time where I could maybe see some sort of structural thing happening, uh, structural failure happening but anyway uh, that's a neat feature that I'll use it so um, racing chairs let's talk about racing chairs in general uh, Cougar that they're just one of many companies making these chairs and as someone that's owned a lot of very high quality office chairs and someone that was not a believer in these gaming style uh, racer chairs I've got to say they really do have their benefits and uh, you know, for, I, for the longest time, I really just thought it was marketing bullshit. Like, really, a gaming chair? Really? I, I, I wasn't a believer. But I've got to say, these chairs do force you to have good posture. When I play games in this chair, I want to sit upright. I think the, the primary reason for that is the armrests. The armrests are a, uh, a problem with normal, high-quality office chairs. When you get a high quality office chair, it's got leather armrests, right? You think that's you think that's a good thing for gaming, right? You know, leather, it's nice. It's not. It's actually bad. Uh, leather, your arm kind of gets stuck to it. It's it, if you have any sort of any sort of moisture, and it's not. Uh, it's a, it's high friction. It's not. It, it doesn't feel good to, to play like that. So what you inevitably end up doing is is playing with some weird posture to get around the fact that your arm keeps sticking to the armrest. Um, 
the armrests on the on this thing, that's probably the number one feature for me is the armrests. Um, it's slick, it's easy to use, and the armrests being usable for gaming and not being in the way makes me want to play upright rather than playing like some sort of weird T-Rex. Anybody that's been watching me for a while knows that for the longest time I used to put like a pillow on my lap and do this weird T-Rex thing because when I did that I would get around the armrest problem. So um, yes, it is weird. There is something with these chairs. I don't know, maybe it's the firmness of it, the fact that it hugs you. Um, I don't know what it is, but you, you sit upright in them. You want to sit upright in them. It is weird. It sounds like some marketing shit, I know, but honestly, it's, it's pretty nice. Anyway, that's about all I can really tell you when it comes to a chair review. The only issue that I have with this chair is that the neck pillow was a little bit loose. And honestly, I just life hacked that by twisting the strap to make it tighter. That's a personal preference thing. I can understand why some people want it looser to have it more adjustable. But uh, for me, I just twisted the strap and tightened it down into place. Um, so that's no big deal. Um, but other than that, this chair, I've, this is my favorite chair I've ever owned. Uh, but I'll be honest, I've never owned another racer style chair. And only time will tell if it lives up and survives the test of time. Uh, in terms of like the leather peeling or the armrest breaking or the lift going out or whatever. Um, but as of right now, it seems pretty solid. And I highly recommend it, whatever chair you buy, whether it's this one or anyone, um, you need to get some of this stuff. It's called a 303 Aerospace Protectant. Basically, these chairs, all the all, all computer chairs, all leather, whatever it is, um, when they start when they when they start cracking and peeling, that is due to UV rays um, damaging them, and also the leather just gets dry. Um, basically, buy buy some of this 303, wipe down your chair with it once a month, and the leather is going to last much longer, much longer. And it's also going to clean the hell out of your chair. So, um, yeah, take care of your chair for sure. It'll take care of you. So. I like the armor chair. Check it out. I'll, I'll put a link to both the 303 spray and the armor chair. Uh, it seems to be pretty competitively priced from what I've seen. Uh, so yeah, shout out to armor for uh, hooking me up and uh, shout out to that long-term subscriber who actually ended up working with them. And uh, yeah, that's cool. It's just a, it's neat. It's neat to have a, a subscriber from like 2010 get a job at a gaming company and uh, that's cool, man. So uh, we're all growing up around here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Have a good one.